Suplex City, here we come. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal and the WWE Championships. Introducing the champion from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Well, I can assure you Roman Reigns is not frightened of Brock Lesnar, but the big dog had better be cautious. WrestleMania 31, it was Roman Reigns who became the foundation of Suplex City. I've been calling Brock Lesnar's matches since he debuted here at WWE, and I have never been as frightened as I am when Brock Lesnar enters an arena. Brock Lesnar doesn't respect anyone in WWE or walking the planet Earth, nor should he have to. You're looking at the Beast Incarnate. WWE Universe, acknowledge him. The head of the table has arrived, flanked by a special counsel, Paul Heyman. Reigns has dominated the entire WWE. And not just dominated physically, but now mentally as well. And introducing the champion, Accompanied by his special counsel, Paul Heyman, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! Already cemented himself as an all-time great multiple WWE and Universal Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, held the Universal title for over a year. How about five WrestleMania main event matches, defeating legends like Triple H, Edge, and The Undertaker. The man who now leads the bloodline, giving his marching orders to his cousins, the Usos, and his special counsel, Paul Heyman. A man who used to fight with honor, but now will do whatever it takes to retain his spot at the head of the table. This is his yard, his table, his industry. Reigns has always had unparalleled power, agility, and in-ring knowledge, but now he's backed by the brilliant mind of Paul Heyman. And with the bloodline by his side, Roman Reigns can't be stopped.
The winner here joins rare company of double champions. Doesn't happen often, but when two titles are on the line in the same match, it's a major event. And the competitors in this match are certainly worthy of the rare honor. Oh, not quite what Brock intended. A counter answered by another counter. Ah, oh, trampling the opposition. The big dog had that scouted. Thrust right to the throat. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Uh-oh, this is gonna be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. Enabled to counter. Staved off that attack. Headlock applied, tossed without regard. Reigns had that scouted. Tossed around like a rag doll. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. He's got the answer for that one. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Wow! In the past, Roman Reigns has had some success against the Beast by employing Superman punches and spears. Is that the way to go here, Corey? Sure, but don't forget, Lesnar has a way of turning things around, locking opponents up with the guillotine and getting them to tap out. Roman has got to be wary of that. I think both Lesnar and Reigns want to end this match as quickly as possible. Otherwise, the tolls on their bodies will just be too much. A knee lift drives them right over the top rope. Stop in the leg. What a damaging blow. Had that one scouted. Back in the ring now. Five. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Side headlock applied. Oh. oh, and a right hand for good measure. He returns to the ring. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Over and over and over. Battering clotheslines. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Lands face first. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. It's mounted with punches and not... Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Michael Cole takes shelter. Here comes the storm. F5. Oh, my. But champions need to finish the job. He kicks out somehow. Based on what we just saw, I think this match is far from over. Who knows what that kick out cost. The champ might be running on fumes. And Brock is bewildered. Brock has no clue how that... ...just happened. German after German by Brock. Lesnar on the wrong side of that exchange. Reigns and Lesnar have taken shots that would have ended any other match. But neither man is leaving tonight without a few new scars. 
perilous position to be in right now. Oh, someone call a dentist. Oh, ruthless striking. That's through into the arm bar. Trapped the leg as well. This is trouble. The arm bar is locked in. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. This is about... Oh, man. Quick as a cat, just like that. That was a thing of beauty. Drives us. The head of the table cinches it in. It's just a matter of time now. The guillotine is locked in tight. This is not a familiar position for the Beast Incarnate. Got to find a way out of the guillotine. We're not going to last long while we're bridging out. Incredible. Tough position to be caught in here. Can't prepare your face for that. Really just laying it in. Reigns had that scouted. Oh, look at this. Raw power. Right to the ribs. Oof. Reigns able to sidestep. Getting him into the corner. Body shots over and over. One to the jaw, and then... Reigns is facing some serious trouble. It is scary how much Lesnar enjoys dishing out this punishment. Suplex! Launched. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. There's an F5 coming through. Now that is why they're the champ. Two. And Lesnar remains champion. The reign of the beast continues. Here is your winner and WWE champion, Brock Lesnar. I still can't believe it. There you see our new champion. The now former champion obviously not happy with this outcome. I did not think a title change was in the cards here tonight.